Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here from Serpent X Tech. And in this video, I wanna show you how you can get your micro or nano miner called the Nerd Miner to about 250 kilohash. It's actually through Jingle Mining and you can take one of these devices, right? Any of these T-Display S3 uh, ESP32 miners that originally could do lower hash rate up to 250 kilohash, which is not a whole lot in the grand scheme of the SHA-256 Bitcoin network, but these are fun little devices that you just connect the Type-C connection, doesn't use a lot of power, and you can start hashing away. Now, originally we used to only get around 28, 20-ish kilohash, then it was 50-something kilohash, and another firmware update came out where we were able to get to 78, almost 80 kilohash, and there's been a lot of videos out on it, but Jingle Mining has a Gleam.io giveaway, or link it's not a giveaway there isn't a paywall or anything like that but they do want you to kind of join their telegram group or any one of the actions listed in front of you the link is going to be down in the description and the supported esp32 devices is right here on the page um more than likely the t display s3 you'll be perfectly fine but there are a lot of esp32 devices out there either way here's the list of all the various uh, components or devices that are supported and if we go to this gleam link they say it's a unrestricted firmware update, but obviously they want you to join their Telegram or do a specific action. So you are going to have to do something to get into it. I know a lot of my privacy advocates are not going to like the fact that they want you to share your Telegram number or WhatsApp number. The beautiful thing is you don't have to do that if you choose not to. You could just join their Telegram group. You could say flash to contact at or at contact underscore jingle mining on their telegram and it's actually very simple i went to their telegram which is actually very cool their main telegram shows you all the various devices the pricing the hash rates if there's a price drop on something you could score it for a lot cheaper do it they got some pretty good updates in here but jumping in a telegram group will qualify you otherwise sending a message to uh contact underscore jingle mining which is exactly what I did. I just said the word, if you look up here in the top right, I just said the word flash, which is part of the instructions. It just says flash. The team got back to me, provided all the information as well as the flashing guide, which walks you through it. Very simple. If you're used to these ESP32 miners, you'd be able to do it. And then you can get any one of these up to 250 kilohash with a simple firmware or update. Now there are four files in total. Let's go over that right now. Uh, they have a download tool, right? So flash download to 3.9.5. You can use the online ESP uh, flasher. If you want to use that and you don't want to download there too, you can do that. You just need the, the four files in order to flash your device. They will provide that to you. And then once you have it, you're going to open it up. And it looks like this, but let me start from scratch. I'm gonna go ahead and open it fresh. And when you do, you're gonna have two windows that pop up. This window is gonna be like a command prompt where you're seeing what the flasher is doing. And this window is gonna be a selection tool. Chip type, we're gonna choose ESP32 S3 or your equivalent device. And then the load mode, you wanna switch to USB and click OK. This is gonna load up the secondary window. And here it is, right? So. The top file is your bootloader, the middle file is your partitions, the third file is your boot app, and the bottom file is your actual firmware. So basically they provided me these files, right? I downloaded it, and I did scan it by the way, there's nothing malicious on it uh, with a quick scan on the thing, uh, but basically here are the four files right here, right? So everything we need, right? We know where those are, those are in the download section. Don't mess with the numbers on the right, but they should be equivalent to what they normally are. But just go in the order that you see it here. If you click the three dots, you are able to search. Like if I go to my downloads, I can go to 12.1.1 or 12.11, which is the 78 kilohash version. But if I go back to the lottery mining minor flashing, in here are the various files. So I'm going to select each one. Again, bootloader is the first one. Partition is the second one. Um, the boot app is the third and firmware is the last one. And then once I do that, I already have a miner loaded up. Let me show you real quick. But before I do, I just want to make sure that you choose the right COM port, right? So we just have those four files. They're checked on the left. If they're unchecked, that means they're not going to do anything. So make sure they're checked. And then there's a COM port, right? That COM port will change when you plug in a device. It might be COM6, COM5, COM whatever. So click the drop down, choose whichever port showing up because your device will show up once you plug it in. And then we would hit start. But before we do that, let me point the camera 
at the nerd miner that's already ready to go. And then I'm going to hit the start button to show you the process. So we have the nerd miner in my hand connected via type C. And then in the top right, you see the flasher. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Screen goes black. You can see the command window going through its operations. It's downloading and in installing the actual firmware. You're going to see it go step by step, compress uh, various bytes. The bar continues to move on the left hand side and then it's going to show finish when done. Now that that's done, all we're going to do is unplug the type C connector and then wait a second and then plug it back in. Now you still, if this is a new one, you're still going to have to set it up. You can see it says jingle minor on it. You're still going to have to set it up, right? Connect to the device, configure it to mine to whatever pool you want. You can connect to it on your phone or your computer, doesn't matter. But I was able to connect to it and now I just need to conti continue on and configure the Wi-Fi. When you click configure Wi-Fi, it's going to show you all your networks and you just need to plug in the info appropriate for your network. And right below where you put in your SSID and password, you got to put in your, again, pool URL, port number, and address. Uh, UTC, I don't mess with it, but if you know your UTC time, you can go ahead and change that to whatever is your area and then just hit save. Now that you've done that, you will see the miner switch over to the actual hash screen and you'll watch the hash rate climb up. Something of note is because this one is in a, a box, right? A 3D printed box. The chips do get a little bit toasty. So if you have some sort of airflow that you can provide, you can see on one side, there's some holes for the air to go through and you can see the light inside. You might want to get some airflow just a little bit. Not nothing crazy. You don't need to like, maybe you got some heat sinks or something like that that you could put on uh, to help it keep cool. But we're hitting 250 kilo hash that the Jingle Mine team provided to us through their firmware. And all you got to do is join their Telegram, consider providing them your WhatsApp or Telegram number, or message them via contact underscore Jingle Mining via Telegram. Now I have another device here, another T Display S3. And what I'm talking about is some of the chips on the back here. Um, if you keep an eye on them using a thermal uh, laser or heat gun, or not a heat gun, but a uh, thermal uh, viewer to where you can keep an eye on it, you'll see some of these chips get a little bit toasty, nothing too crazy. It should be able to handle it. Uh, but if you wanted to, you technically put a heat sink on some of these. But yeah, Jingle Mining's got an updated firmware available for you to push your nerd miners even further. Maybe we might see even more hash rate. Not that these things are going to guarantee you a Bitcoin block, but these little miners are fun to play with. If you have them on a chain, you know, 250 kilo hash times eight, you could do the math on that and they add up. But I wouldn't go out and buy a whole warehouse full of these things in order to say that you're going to hit a Bitcoin block. But they're just fun little toys. In my opinion, just that. I said the word toys. A lot of people might not like that, but fun little toys, you know, to play around with and get some extra hash rate um, and to participate, right? To you, you can officially say, even if you don't have any other Bitcoin miner in your arsenal, you can officially say that you participate in helping keep Bitcoin, the network secure, you're processing transactions, and you're helping out in the overall ecosystem of Bitcoin. There's all kinds of different ones out there. Uh, Jingle Miner does sell their specific device on their website if you're interested, uh, but you can find these online through various outlets. But check out the firmware from Jingle Mining, link down in the description. Let me know what your thoughts are. What was the hash rate you were pushing? Are you still use using your Nerd Miner? That's the first question I have for you. Second, what was the hash rate you were running at consistently? And third, do you love these little devices? Let me know down in the comment section uh, below. But that's going to do it for today's video. So do me a favor on the way out. Hit that like button. Get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. So I'll check out additional links in the description. Those support channel on what we do here. And you just have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.